Well, hello, hello. Welcome back. Playing another of the Deep Rock Galactic Survivor game. I'm going to be playing in the caverns, and this time I'm going to go back to Hazard 1. And I'm going to be playing the driller. Uh, I'll do the foreman so I get the gun that shoots behind me. And the idea currently that I have in my head as to why I'm going with the driller and why I'm going back to hazard level one is I want to go and collect a bunch of the upgrade material. And I feel like the driller is going to be my best bet. So like this, like this green thing with the purple little bits, bitty bitty things around it. Uh, let's see. Let's do move speed. So that's kind of all I'm going to be doing, or all I really want to do, is go into a relatively easier... Just go into a relatively easier mode, so that I can go and collect... Oh, let me go get that flower. So I can go and collect more of these... Upgrade materials. There we go. What am I going to get? I like the Krakatoa Sentinel. The little flamethrowers that kind of get spit up behind me. Uh, and I'm still going to try to collect, you know, the errant red and... Or the... I forgot what the... Nitra. The errant Nitra and gold that I kind of run across. Oh. I should probably collect the supply drop. Where is the supply drop? There it is. I'm trying to look it on my map, seeing where it landed. A swarm is heading your way. Load up. Got a swarm coming. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Clear it out. Turn my back to the crowd. There we go. Hmm, uh, I'll get Nitra for breaking through rocks to get some reload speed. And still trying to get Nitra and gold because it'll give me the upgrade stuff. I'm not sure if I said that already, but just kind of reiterating. Don't need sugar rock. Wow, the difference between... Uh, let's get... I'll do pick up. The difference between the Hazard 1 and Hazard 2 feels, like, exponential. Like, this feels way easier than all of the Hazard 2 games that I've been playing. Just collecting all of this. Do... Uh, I'll do status effect. Oh no, I was already healed. Uh, do 10% more damage. Guys in front of me, I got the elite coming out already. Upgrade materials, where are you? Get some gold. Flamethrowers, do your business. My back shots gun, do its business. Upgrade material right here. Boom. Got it. Kill the elite. Uh, let's do fire rates. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Leveled up again. Uh, I'll do reload speed for all weapons. Look at that gold, 102. All right, what am I getting? Ooh, it's a legendary. And I got an epic, so go with the legendary, go with the epic. Let's get five, plus five on luck. Let's do more status effect. Cool, almost bought the whole house out. Immediately going for that gold. And there's nitro down there, that's good. Let's get this gold. But you know, it, it it's this is just I'm having fun with the game. It's like, hey, you know, I want 
uh, I want to spend like 10, 20 minutes just doing a thing every once in a while. Just kind of pick the game back up, do a little run, make a little bit of progress, grab a little bit of upgrade material, kind of... Even if you'd like fail, fail a dive, which is what it calls when you do one of these kind of like expeditions into the bug zone. Even if you fail, you still gain levels to your characters because each character, each class has its own like uh, levels and upgrading system and you get like different guns and different weapons become available. And you also like run across different I think they call them artifacts. Let's do reload speed. So you run across different, like you, you run across different artifacts that then become available in your next runs. So like even failed, uh, let's go. Do I get more gold or do I get more critical or have you more nitra? Uh, I'll get more gold. Um, so yeah, even failed runs, let's get pickup radius, even failed runs, like, it all progresses. Kind of, I mean, that's, I think that's like any, I mean, is, I'm pretty sure this is considered like a roguelite, right? Like it's a vampire survivor, I think it's like an offshoot of roguelite. Maybe, I don't know. I, I really don't know a lot about like the genres and subgenres and how you call things what. Uh, let's go with the, I like the wave clicker. But yeah, you know, even in failure, you still um, you still get some some bit of progress, and even collecting all of these upgrade materials, like it doesn't go away. Like they stay in your in your personal like collection or your personal inventory or your stash, where you get to then uh, continue to upgrade your character and have better and better goes. It's very difficult to try to concentrate on what I'm doing as a player and also talk to an audience. I think I said it before in another video, but I have gained in the process of doing this whole thing of recording gameplay, putting it out on the internet. Um, I have gained a uh, substantial amount of respect for what it takes to be a streamer who plays games but plays them competently like if you're just fucking around and finding out and you're just like kind of like what I'm doing which is just I'm just kind of playing a game I'm not really caring about whether or not I'm totally successful or trying to make all of the right calls I'm not really concentrating too much on that ooh let's get some more fire Okay, materials. God, no, big guy. Get away from me, big guy. Get away from me. No, circle, circles. Circle back. Choo, choo, choo. Circle back, circle back. Boom, got him. Get upgrade material. Where is the drop pod? Let's cut through here. Get some nitro and gold. Uh, let's get... Uh, two weapons get affected. You can see here in the arrows. Two weapons get affected by that one. I'll do that. I'm not sure if I finished my thought, but yeah, I have a lot more respect for people who are competently playing games and recording it and having commentary. Like, man, it's such a like, it, it, it feels like it takes so many different parts of your brain to like focus and switch between all those different things. I'll do critical chance. Let me reroll. Let me get increase the effects. Uh, do reload speed, fire rate. These are nice if you want to like specifically shoot for one of these bigger upgrades, but because they don't actually add anything to your weapon, I really don't, I don't often use them. And this is great, but I just didn't have the gold for it. But yeah, my, uh, my respect in that area for streamers and YouTubers who record games has gone up immensely since me trying to do this whole thing. Also editors. Like, I edit all my videos and, like, I, you know, two hours of recording becomes, you know, granted, I'm not a proficient editor. I'm kind of, I'm learning how to edit because of this whole process, Be trying to do this whole uh, putting videos out on YouTube has made me uh, 
Well, part of that goal was to how to learn to become a competent editor. But an hour, two hours of recording, well, actually, for the most part, I only record about an hour of gameplay for, at least for Timberborn, and for this game is like even less than that. But that limited amount of time is like four times that amount of time for me to edit. A 20 minute video that goes on YouTube takes me about four to six hours, if not a little longer, to like fully edit and to add little things here and there to, you know, I, and I don't even feel like I spend that much time to like where I kind of crisp up stuff and I add effects and little things here and there that I want to add. I have like an unfinished, you, you know, the, the, the classic YouTuber, you know, please comment, like, subscribe and all that, all that jazz the classic YouTuber bit. I didn't really want to make that a thing that I say. I was like, oh, let me animate it. I want to have a little animated piece and because most of my videos are Timberborn, I started doing it in the style of a beaver coming on screen and having this little animation where it's, you know, it's saying, it doesn't say, it just kind of displays, um, you know, the like and subscribe thing. And I have that like partially laid out, but it's nowhere near finished. It's trying to make sure that I have everything else in my life done and trying to then use the spare time to go and do these videos and to do the editing. And I want to do that animation. I have other animations I want to do. I have some 3D animations that I really want to work on. Um, let's get damage. I have some 3D animations that I really work on. Let's go. I'm going to go off lane. Let's get the crisper. Um, but I have like 3D animations that I want to work on that like... It's all back burner stuff right now. And like, I, I want to be able to kind of like get a little bit ahead in some of, some of these videos and some of these edits and some of these recordings to be able to like, oh, be able to like put that stuff up and to add a little bit more polish to some videos and, and add some, you know, some cool things here and there. It's just hard, man. It's a lot of time. Okay, Mech Terra. Let's go, dude. I'm gonna fucking squash you. Let's get the supply supply rally. Boom, get squished, bud. Uh, let's do more Nitra. Oh, I'll go collect all that XP. Ah, I'm not fast enough. Let's do more damage. But like going back to this game of a lot of the classes and it, it's highlighted even more in this in this uh hazard one uh, uh playthrough in hazard two he's this i feel like this class is a little harder at least i have a little bit more of a hard time uh let's do damage let's do beam which affects three of the guns reload speed is everything and i'm good um but like this became the driller class became one of my favorite in when I was doing the hazard one runs because it's like, oh, I just go and mine the materials. I don't worry about what's behind me because it has that back facing gun. And then with all of the area of effect kind of abilities that are on the driller, like when I stand still or when I'm relatively still, everything is kind of building up around me and it's hard for the bugs to kind of reach me. Which is like, you know, it's nice. It's nice, to, nice not to have to worry about the bugs coming on your, coming on your gear, or uh, uh, hitting your zone. I got a little tight corner right there. A little tight corner. Um, so like, when I first made the the step to going into the Hazard Two games, I was like, oh, I'm going Driller. Like Driller was my success. Driller is the guy who made me, you know. It was with this class that I was able to complete the dives on the first few uh, first few levels and maps. And then as soon as I went to Hazard 2, it was like, man, these area of effect things are just slow. And it took me a while to kind of progress them to where they're doing decent amount of damage and like killing these bugs that, with any kind of relative ease and quickness. Um, so then I stopped using the driller for the hazard two stuff and I started going to some of the other classes. 
But now I, I'm remembering, you know, the I'm remembering the the power that this class has at these at the, the even the one hazard level lower. And like I mentioned earlier, hazard one to hazard two. God, that is such a it feels like such a steep arc or uh, such a steep climb and difficulty. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Boom. Oh god, am I gonna trap myself right now? Come on, come on. Supply pod's not out yet. Oh god, everything's everything is above me. Everything's above me. God, God, get it, come on, make a round, make a round, make a round. Boom. Made it around. Supply pods over there. Cut through here. Let's do more damage on the flamethrower. Or the little flame turrets. Put all that XP. Clear this out. Clear this out. Let's do more damage on the flamethrower again. Blow him up. Blow him up. Oh, my lord. Oh, lord. Oh, lord. Oh, lord. Oh, lord. Uh, let's do armor because I feel like I'm going to need it. Uh, I'll do weapon range. That's great. Uh, let's do reload speed. Reload speed. God, I'm getting so much XP right here. Boom. Okay. Oh, God. Let's do fire ring. I'm going to take damage. Uh, more damage. Oh, man. That was a real tight one. More damage. There we go. And see, this is like... Man, when I first got into this kind of play with this, with the driller, where it's area of effect, where you get swarmed like that, and then all of a sudden the coast is completely clear. I was like, oh man, this class is so strong for these lower levels. Heal you. Let's go. And I didn't collect a little bonus. A little mushies. Any more upgrade material? No. Excellent work, Miner. Stage complete. Onwards to stage five. On to the final level. Ooh, that would've been cool. Let's do damage and get the upgrade. Let's do hmm. I'll do just the balanced the balanced overclock. And I'll do more damage on beams. Uh, let me re-roll. I'll get reload speed, more damage. I feel like I can get... I have 25 nitro left. I feel like I can get one more nitro upgrade. Ooh, 25 damage. Or the rare 25% damage. And I'll do that. Alright, I think that should be everything. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything else. Cool. And now I'm at the boss level. So I got to go hunt some eggs. Okay, let's go. Let's go egg hunting. Egg hunting and upgrade material hunting. There we go. Two eggs in that corner. Oh, God. A little fast and loose with it. Upgrade material. Boom. Let's cook this egg. I want it hard boiled. Cook it up. Boom. Get the boss out. Chew through here. Get to this egg. Blombade egg. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I got okay, 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 okay. I'm not I shouldn't play around too much. Okay. Let's do reload speed. Okay. Oh god, oh god. I'm really getting a little I'm getting a little brazy with it right now. Okay. Let's do here. And I need one more egg. Up in the top bar, you can kind of see the amount of eggs that are left on the map. Ooh, he's right down here. Pick him up, pick him up. Let's get this nitra. Although I don't really need the nitra. I need. I could use it for the XP, but um, you're kind of done with shopping at this point. Once you reach this the this bottom level. Let's do 15 damage and let's do what overclock? Increase the lifetime of the beam. I'd rather do that. Let's do lifetime of the beam. Let me stick around for the supply drop. Let me look. Oh, oh God. 
I didn't see that guy. I don't know where I was looking at my screen, but I wasn't looking at that. No, I'm, I'm a hunter nitro. I need to get upgrade material. Come on, supply drop. Where are you going? The Up there. The Clear this out. I got the spitting bugs now. Uh, let's do... Nitro gives me more crit rate. Okay. Kill all these things and let me release the Kraken. Let me release the big guy. Come on out. Come on out. Let's get some flames towards you. Get that heat. Give me the heat! Uh, reload speed. Gotta watch for this guy's big jumps. Where are the big jumps? There you go. Cut the corner. Cook him up, cook him up. Big jumps. Got the heat wave on him. Oh. That's the bad thing with the heat wave is that it's not very... Con it's not controlled at all. So you just kind of have to, like, run around and try to hit it with either the heat wave or the uh, the little spinning flame thing, little crispers. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Boom. It, like, right now, the difference and difficulty level between Hazard 1 and Hazard 2 is absolutely ridiculous. Because that felt like a freaking cakewalk. Ooh, I got the impact hammer. New weapon unlocked for the driller. Or impact axe. Did I say hammer? And now let me go to my upgrades. What did I get? Ah, movement speed. Regeneration. I'll get regeneration and the movement speed. That wasn't too much upgrade materials that I got. Uh, I have seven of the white glowy stuff. Let me see. What do I need? What's the white glowy stuff? It's these two. Ooh, it's a luck. Do I try to get more? How many more can I get? Not quite 15. I could probably sell some of my yellows. One more. Oh, I think I need cash too. I need 1500. Can I get it from this? Yes. So let me get the luck. Boom. A little bit more luck. Cool. But yeah, that was a playthrough with the driller. It's a fun class. I would probably recommend it is to get your way through the hazard level ones. At least it was what I used to get through the first uh, levels of hazard one. And then, you know, everything started snowballing to get a little easier. Hazard level two is still pretty hard for me. I'm doing better, but it's still pretty hard. Uh, it was fun. See you guys. Take care. Bye.